Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to use WordPress multilingual plugin with JetEngine to create the listings and listing grids in other languages. So let's start. First, let's navigate to WPML uh, settings block, and here we should check if we have enabled the WPML. Uh, for the custom post type and uh, for the custom fields and uh, listings that we already have. So I check the events and listing items uh, as translatable and then hit save button. Okay, now let's check that everything is okay now. And as we can see, the items are already checked. And let's navigate to events. This is my custom post type that I've got and created with JetEngine previously. And here I've got several posts already. And as you can see, they're available for localization. And let's add translation to the other language. In my case, I would be adding translations into Russian. As you can see, there are titles that are already available for translating and uh, I input the translation of the title into another language and then we should hit translation is complete check this checkbox and then we hit save button and return to the events as you can see I have already added several translations for my custom posts and uh, if we have any need we can edit the translations the time we have to do this and uh, now let's navigate to listings we also have to create some translations for them here i've already got events listing uh, this is my listing item for the events custom post type i hit plus icon and proceed to translate in the listing here I've got several fields uh, that uh, are actually the fields available for my listing. Uh, these are the fields that are related to my listing title and to the custom fields I've got, I've added to my listing. And here you can see the macroses and the special symbols, the codes as well as the actual content and we need what we now need to do is to translate each of the uh, content pieces and input the translation into the needed fields. Don't forget to check translation is complete box in case the translation is already complete. If you don't check this box, the translation won't uh, be accepted and then you won't see it when you view the listing the actual translated listing in the listing grid from JetEngine and uh, that's why that's important. Uh, okay, now as for the uh, date format uh, and uh, for the separators, the macroses, uh, you can just copy the content, the values, in case you don't need to translate them. Uh, as in this example, we've got the macros and this macros is uh, the content that was translated already, uh, this actually was the title of the custom post and uh, that's why we should just copy it as it is. As for the date format, uh, sometimes in different countries we have different uh, date formats and that's why that's important uh, that we're able to choose uh, how the dates should be displayed. Then we just copy the separators as they are. And if we have customized the field output, we can still translate uh, this uh, content and these values, uh, which we've got in English into Russian. The event date would be data sabitia and uh, we just input the translation and then paste the macros. OK, let's check translation is complete. And now we should save all the content that we've got. 
Now let's go to pages or pages. Here we've got the new page and we can translate its title as well. When we translate it, we make sure that it would appear as we uh, want it to appear in the language we want to be used on this page. Then we save the changes and again navigate to this page and start editing it with Elementor. Now we should search for the list and grid widget and drop it to the needed section. Here we should select the listing, what we want to display with this widget. As you can see, there is already content added and available in it. And we proceed to front end. Here we see the new page and the content in English. But as you can see, there is the menu that allows us to choose the other language. And here we can view our content in Russian language. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and hoping to see you in the next videos. Cheers!